What is up guys? It's Jess here. Just right here. <laughs> All right guys, so I know we haven't made a video in a very long time, but today we're gonna be working on a BMW Z4. Um, it is a 3.0. So the car actually needs spark plugs and a new actuator, Larry? Right? No, ignition code. Or oh, ignition code, sorry. Actually, Fuck, I don't even know. <laughs> Fuck, I don't even know. It's not my car, but uh, while we're doing this, we're going to be giving you a quick little recap as to what has happened in the past, what, two months? Because I think that's how long it's been since we made a video. Um, and a lot has happened, so we will be filling you in uh, thoroughly through the video. So the video as we did that. progress, but yeah. It's a beamer. Always gotta push that shit. Man, this bitch is heavy. Fuck but pop these out. And then there's like. Oh. oh, look how convenient. So, before removing the ignition coil, we went ahead and just disconnected the battery before. I'm plugging everything just to be safe. Uh, I'm sure you probably don't have to, but just to be safe. The method BMW chose. I've taken out the pretty much. The I mean, everything is self-explanatory. It's all there, hands-on. It's really easy. You literally just pop this up, and then the, the thing comes out by itself. So all the things are here. You, the grounds are right there. You don't have to disconnect them. You just... A little bit of... Finesse. Should come out. Delphi, Delphi, Delphi. They see it on the cap as well. Delphi, and then this is Bosch. And the ones I got, I got the. Let's see what you got, got that. that AutoZone special. AutoZone special, you know. <laughs> lifetime warranty, boy. But I did get the double platinum uh, spark plugs, which are like nine dollars a plug. And that's pretty expensive. Let's just check out the. So this is not going to be a tutorial by any means. I'm guessing this is a not a Delphi either, but it just has a D. It just has a serial number or whatever, but... The AutoZone Special. Yeah, it's the AutoZone Special, but they look different. We can compare it. There's two different. They're all the general side, same side. Yeah, they're all the same thing, same everything. You know, you could just get an idea of three different ones. So, yeah. I don't know which one's BMW or which one was original, but now it's going to have the same thing, all the same ignition coils. It's going to have all the same spark plugs. And I mean, I've never seen the spark plugs in this car, so it should be interesting. You know, it's always interesting when you're taking off, you know, parts like that just to see how they're doing. Quick little update. So Gus has begun putting back the spark plugs. These are the spark plugs that came out of the car. Let's see if I could make it focus. Uh, they don't look all that too, all that bad, but uh, the, the ignition same coil. Spark plug I'm putting in. Yeah, it's the same exact spark plug that he's putting in, but the ignition coil is being different. Uh, that might make it run weird. So we're just gonna work Correct. our way uh, down the list of the possible causes of the misfire and, that and the car has. And then thing that I noticed too was okay, these two are the ones that were replaced, yeah. right? Or these three, I think these are, and one's white, and then these two are black. So I have no idea if some sort of technology would make it white when it's malfunctioning, but I don't know, it's just weird Doubtful, that it's white. It's just weird that it's white. True. But uh, he's putting the spark plugs back in. I'm not entirely sure what the firing order on the car is, but I'm assuming it's one through six. He's currently making his way back from six to one. If but that's the correct, I guess, firing. If that's the firing order, but I have no idea. Now to story time. So, so as you guys can see, Aaliyah is behind me. Uh, I fixed her brakes. They're facing the right way now. Uh, and recently, I actually took Gus for his birthday to a Mexico game. And I decided to take the Cadillac just because, the, because of the luxury of the crystal line tint. You know, it's my birthday. I wanted to go in luxury. So I, I took the car out and I will admit I was kind of pushing the car and I'm not entirely sure what happened, but um, the car just started misfiring 
So this is another car that's misfiring right now. Um, at the time, I haven't really told you guys this, but I did end up tuning the car. So it was stage one, a complete stage one, a ZZP stage one. Um, I'm not blaming ZZP for the reason that the car is misfiring, but I'm not entirely sure as to what could be causing it. Um, you hit him up and you I, what? Yeah, they, they possibly think that the electrode on the spark plug has, could have possibly broken off because it's been noted between Cadillac owners that when they do high speed runs, uh, they tend to break. And I was doing like 120, I was just coasting at like 120 when it happened. So maybe, doubtful, but maybe. Uh, but there's also another condition known in the Cadillac community as pre-ignition. Uh, the 2013 has actually suffered from this. Uh, this is a 2014. I don't know if that would make it like the culprit, but I don't think so. But um, I might be taking it into Cadillac just to see what they suggest. Um, because if it's pre-ignition, that's going to lead to melted pistons, which could lead to me needing a new block. And that seems kind of expensive at the moment. So I'll see what they say. So um, I'll let you guys know, but that's for a different video. I just want to let you guys know that the car is down. Um, I'm going to be making a video as to what's going on. I'll turn on the car for right now. This is just the focus, but I will be including some more information later on let's just finish this up and then we'll get the ignition coils on and then i'll we'll tell you another story start replacing the ignition coil pretty pretty simple explanatory just put it in i'm pretty sure it has to go all the way in like that straight um, popped it in oh well, probably should be popped in like, probably that. Like, like that where the green arrow faces up like that there you go it pops in Put that in last. Put the next one. And I guess I'll give you guys a little update with what's going on with me, my car situation. So last you guys heard of, I had a 250, 2014 IS250. And that was cool, you know, it's fun, slow. But I recently just sold it and I ended up buying myself a IS350. It's a 2006 IS350. It's got a couple of mods here and there. Um, if you guys follow our Instagram, which you guys should, uh, Jesse posted a couple pictures, probably a picture or two, on the, on the Instagram. So if you guys don't follow us, links in the description. If you guys you know wanna see it before the video comes out when I unveil it, there's a picture there, a little sneak peek. But it's got a couple mods and it's completely different than what the 250 was, of course. But I did get it for a good price and it is a Lexus so I believe in you know the reliability and you know I don't have to put much money in it just little aesthetics things I still have the IS 300 that thing's just chilling back there collecting dust plans with that um don't have any at the moment just taking it day by day it's not a priority car right now I already dumped tons of money in it but eventually, when I get more time, I'll go ahead and buy a turbo for it because that's basically what it needs next. And go through that project. But yeah, guys, that's a little update with what's going on with my cars. And we'll just finish this up right here with the last one. Turn there. Sure, double check, you know. Just plug it in. And you can tell, like, as soon as you plug it in, it brings this down. The mechanism of it, it just literally, boop. So when you need to take it off, it's so easy. Thank you, BMW. Connect all these. Connect the battery. Jesse's always liked the C4. I remember in high school, him saying he always wanted one. Stick ship one on the side. Yeah, I used to really like this car, but I wanted a Z4M, so the hard top. The first time I saw this car, I was like, man, it's manual, and it's automatic. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh no. It's a really nice car though.
feels good now. Oh, it does that little jerking shit. Yeah, yeah, the transmission is kind of similar to a fast manual transmission. <laughs> yeah, like how. Like no lift shift. Yeah, that's how I would describe it. But like when you're kind of like going soft on it, it kind of does like what a manual would do, kind of like that bucking. But similar to the smart car, because a smart car is kind of a manual, but automated manual. It's a weird, weird. But similar to this, but this is like more sporty, way more sporty. Yeah. Like once it's high in the RPM, it actually like does like quick shifts instead and it has of like sport that, motor, that bucking. So that, that gives that it, means, you know. That means it's fast. It means a bit of Lamborghini almost. Pretty much. <laughs> Pretty much. So, we actually got a surprise for you guys, so... We'll give you we'll a little sneak peek once we're there. What is up, guys? So, this right here behind me is my new car. A 2006 size 350. Brief introduction to the car, you know. Wheels, big brakes, carbon fiber hood. Um, it's got coilovers, you know. I'll get in depth to as to what brand they are and everything later on. But I'm just giving you a brief introduction. I've got these banger ass two headsets. They don't work, but you know, for looks, it's cool. I got the car as is, so I haven't done anything to it. That's the front. Um, that's it. Yeah, I guess. There's a cool story behind this car. Uh, well, long story to this car, yeah, on, on how I guess I got it. And I mean, I personally know the last owner of this vehicle, so. That's where I got a good deal from it. And yeah, uh, next video, next couple of videos, maybe, I don't know, whenever I get a chance, we'll do like a little drive-by um, so you can hear what this car sounds like. Um, well, we and will I'll include more. a cold start in this yeah. video. Yeah, this, you, you'll get, you know, you're, I'm not just gonna get your dick hard for nothing, but I'll, I'll get, I'll, I'll give you a little cold start because it, it does sound pretty good. Um, but uh, in the next video, I'll get in depth <laughs> with uh, the, what type of coilovers it has, the brake kit it has, um, what type of wheels they are, and what type of carbon fiber hood has colder intake and uh yeah we'll go from there but for here uh we'll just include the start of video now Also, if you can tell, it's a single exit exhaust, it's not dual. Is that a Tome dog? <laughs> I just got showered and fucking smoked. <laughs> Off of the YouTube.